Hello everyone, welcome to another GitHub tutorial video. Today I will show you how to create a new GPG key on GitHub. Now, to be honest, before we get started with this video, this video is for people that already know how to use this and already know basically that are tech savvy because this is for people that are tech savvy. So if you're not, then make sure to either consult with someone or anything like that. So pretty much what you will need to do is you will need to download and install the GPG command line tools for your operating system. Now, this is basically recommended from GitHub and you will need to open JIT bash right here. So make sure to open that and then generate a GPG key pair. Since there are multiple versions of GPG, you will need to consult the relevant uh, man page to find the appropriate key generation command. By the way, I will link this in the description so you can go and you can check it out. Now, as you can see, this is basically the shell that you want to go. If you're on version 2.117 or greater, then paste this text in order to generate a GPG key pair. If you're not on version 2117 or greater, then you will need to go and you will need to use this right here because this upper command will not work. Now, obviously, at the prompt, specify the key size you want or press enter to accept the default. Um, this is pretty much, uh, you know, right here. And then you can enter the length of time the key should be valid. So press enter to specify the default selection. Uh, you will need to just go through the entire process from there. Verify that your selections are correct. And then you will need to enter your user ID information. Now, as you can see, note when asked to enter your email address, ensure that you enter the verified email address for your GitHub account. Primary email, make sure it's primary email. Then all we need to do is type a secure passphrase so you can do that yourself. And then use the uh, this command right here to list uh, the long uh, form of the GPG keys for which you have both a public and a private key. A private key is required for signing commits or tags. Now this is how it should look like. Now some GPG installations on Linux might require you to use uh, this right here to view a list of your existing keys instead. So in this case, you will also need to configure git to use gpg2 by running this command right here. Now from the list of gpg keys, you can copy the long form uh, of the gpg key ID you'd like to use. In this example, the gpg key ID is this one right here. So as you can see, this is basically the, the gpg key, which is right here, as you can see right here. So this is basically where we're copying. And then you obviously you can paste the text below substituting in the GPG key ID you'd like to use. So in this example, the GPG key is this key right here, as you can see, which is this right here. So we just, uh, you know, pasted that. Then all you have to do is copy the GPG key beginning with the this uh, right here command and ending with this command right here. And then all you have to do is add the GPG key to your GitHub account. Obviously, adding your GPG to your uh, GitHub account, again, you can do as you can see right here. It's pretty much really, really simple. All you have to do is settings. From settings in the access section of the sidebar, click the key SSH and GPG keys. Next to the GPG keys header, click the new GPG key and then in the title field, type the name. And then in the key field, paste the key and then click add GPG key and confirm the action. And that's pretty much it. So as you can see, it's not really that easy, especially if you're not tech savvy. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can comment down below and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.